Hey guys, it's Arlette from Chasing Joy, and I'm going to do hopefully a quick video for you guys. I have some good news. Um, no, I'm not pregnant. I don't have that news for you guys right now, but I have all of my test results back from my repeat test in September. And they are good. I'm very, very excited about the numbers. Um, so the short story is my ovaries are no longer 40. They are the appropriate age, which is 36, because that's how old I am. So a little background. I, after a bunch of failed IUIs and miscarriage, my... Um, fertility doctor I wanted to repeat the test um, back in the summer so I did that in June and all the tests were bad um, all of the fertility related ones were bad and everybody was shocked I was shocked the doctor was shocked um, so she made some recommendations and wanted me to repeat in three months and that was in September and so I did so I hopefully you got some of you guys saw the video from that day and the most exciting news um, from the visit was that my nutrient follicle count was up. Now when I did the test back in June, I only had five follicles total. Um, that was, I think, like three on the right and two on the left. And so that was um, quite a dip. They'd never been that low to only have five. I think when I first started the whole process, I had like 12 on one side and 13 on the other. And then if my notes are correct, back in July 2015, I had 10 follicles total. So a year later to only be at five was like kind of shocking. And so between the, the neutral five count of five and my FSH, which had gone up to 10.7, um, basically that was like results that the doctor said she'd expect from a woman who's, who's 40. So that's why I said, well, then, you know, basically my ovaries were 40, um, so, the tests are, were all good. So, in June, the initial follicle count was 13 or 14. I'm going to say 14. And that was so exciting to me because um, from June, um, well, not from June, but from my visit post getting all the test results. So, that was around July through now, I had been praying um, for some very specific results related to these fertility numbers. And one of those was I had prayed for at least seven follicles on the right and seven follicles on the left. So when we were doing the ultrasound and she was on the right side and counted to seven, like I was so excited. Like I felt like I wanted to cry. I was so happy because that was like... A very specific answer to my prayer and that doesn't happen all the time like our prayers I believe always get answered but for me at least rarely does it happen um, like where it's exactly what you prayed for and when she went to the left side um, that ovary is like kind of tucked behind my uterus so it's harder to see and she got up to six on that side and said that there could easily have been another one but that she just couldn't see so I mean, that's exactly what I prayed for, seven on each side. So I was just like amazed and felt so grateful and thankful. So I already knew that that was good and like a big, um, a big increase from just five, three months before. So the rest of the blood work came in and so like my vitamin D, my thyroid, um, the prolactin, all that stuff was normal. So the main two tests for fertility are the FSH and the AMH. So back in July my of 2015, my FSH was 9.89. And then in June of 2016, just past June, 
it had increased to 10.7, which is not good. Normal, they like to see below 10. So that was upsetting. But then the biggest upset was the AMH number. So the AMH number back in um, June of 2015 was 1.87. And they like to see it above 1, so that was good. Back in July of 2016, a couple months ago, it had dropped down to 0 0.67. So that was just so upsetting. So that's what made me think, like, oh, my ovaries are 40 because based on the follicle count, the AMH, which is like how many ovaries, I mean, follicles your body has left, um, like the hormone that they're making, um... And how hard your ovaries are working, which is determined by the FSH, it was like of a 40-year-old. So now the new numbers, which I'm so excited about, obviously the follicles were 13 technically, but I think probably 14, 7 on each side. And the FSH has come down from the 10.7 to 9.16. So that means my FSH right at that time in, in September, basically now, was better than when I started all this stuff like over a year ago and the AMH which had been 0.67 had come up to 1.55 and they like to see that over one and that's in the normal range for a woman my age 36 so I'm so excited that the numbers are better and that makes me much more optimistic for getting pregnant, um, knowing, you know, that the follicle count had increased, um, kind of is what made me want to do another IUI. And now with these numbers, if, you know, that wouldn't work and even going forward, um, ultimately if I end up with the IVF, makes me feel a lot better about my chances of it working. Um, I've mentioned <clears throat> Excuse me. In a previous video that I wanted to do the shared risk program, if I with the IVF where you get to up to six tries of IVF, including transfers, for a flat fee, and then if it doesn't work, you get your money back. But you have to be approved, and that includes having some, I guess, kind of normal numbers. So, um. Previously, the doctor with the, only the five in each follicle count was concerned that I might not qualify. But she said with the 13 that she has no doubts that I would qualify. So that made me feel really good. Um, <clears throat> sorry, guys. I don't, my voice has been going in and out today. I don't know why. Hope I'm not getting a cold. Um, but anyway, so that's the good news. All the numbers were good. And... I know people will want to know, like, what did I do over the last three months to make them better? And honestly, I'm just going to give all the glory to God that he answered my prayers because I, I wrote down what I wanted and I prayed specifically and the tests were either equal to what I prayed for or better. I prayed for seven follicles on each side and I think that's what I had. For my AMH, I was praying that it would go up to 0.8 and it went up to well over that and for the FSH <clears throat> I was praying that it came down closer to 10 and now it was even below 10 so that is amazing I just think it was a power of prayer but <clears throat> what did I do um so I think the main thing was I honestly think the numbers were off because of the stress of losing my mom and while that's still hard every single day, um, I think the stress from that is less as time goes on. Um, also, <clears throat> I'm really sorry I keep clearing my throat. Um, I did the DHEA, 75 milligrams and three pills. So 25 milligrams three times a day. I did the CoQ10. 600 milligrams per day, three pills of 200 all at once. I continued my prenatal. <clears throat> I um, most recently started taking a vitamin E. 
Um, and I'm sorry I can't remember that amount, but I'm sure I mentioned it um, in the supplements video I did a couple weeks ago. And vitamin C as well, which I mentioned in the supplements video. And I've made some lifestyle changes. Um, I have lost weight. I think altogether I've lost about 13 or so pounds. I think at the time of the when I went in to do the blood work, I had lost about 10. Um, but other than that, I made some changes based off of a book I read called It Starts With The Egg. And so I'm going to do another video just to talk about those changes. Um, but it was related to decreasing the um, amount of toxins that I was exposed to. Um, and I've been getting more sleep. But honestly, I I don't. I'm not going to claim that any of those things did it. I feel like God did it. And me doing all these things is just, I feel like just trying to show God that I'm doing my part. I'm doing all that I can so that he can, um, you know, give me my blessing, bless me with my bundle of joy. But anyway, guys, this video is already longer than I planned. I wanted it for like a couple minutes. We're over 10. So thank you for all who watched to the end. But I'm just really excited that the numbers got better. My ovaries are no longer 40. I hope they are not 40 ever until I'm 40. <laughs> um... So that's it for now. I'm about to go into the gym. I just left work. And um, oh, and I was working out the whole time. But I've always worked out, but I think I've more consistently worked out more over these last three months because I've been really focused on my weight loss. So working out blood flow, that's good for your ovaries and follicles and stuff too. Anyway, about to go into this gym. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for everyone who's prayed for me and sent me baby dust. Please keep it up and know that God is listening. He's hearing our prayers. Um, so I'll pray for you guys as well. And baby dust for everyone. Bye.